8111 South Marshall, scoping the sewer line after hydro jetting the sewer line from the outside access. Cast iron piping underneath the house. There is very few tree roots left in the clay tile piping. We'll never get 100% of them. It doesn't matter how long we clean it. Um, we'll always have some residual tree roots. Tree roots and clay tile piping is just kind of how, kind of how it goes. Anytime you have clay tile piping around a tree, you're going to get tree roots. So there's our clay tile there. Connection from cast iron to clay tile. do have a crack in the clay tile right here at 36 foot and this is back towards the house from the clean outs. So stress cracks in clay tile piping do happen and that's what that is there, it's stress crack. joint there and then this one here at 24 foot is another crack and you can see the tree roots coming in there at the crack again we'll never get hundred percent of those tree roots no matter how many times we clean it or how long we clean it uh, those tree roots are heavy there because the pipe is cracked our connection on to SDR 35 piping at the clean outs. Coming up to clean out here, we'll go down the other one and look towards the street. So on to clay tile there. dangling roots there very very minimal and you have another crack here at 33 foot some of the debris that we knocked loose in the cast iron piping there. That'll flush out of there once we start flushing toilets and stuff. You got a pretty large offset and separation here at 40 foot. And then there's your tap connection into the main sewer line. like a small crack at that tap also. Again, this is just that scale from that cast iron piping. It'll wash out of there once you dump a bathtub or a washing machine or something. Small crack, 33. Very few roots there. 